If you have been following on our YouTube channel, then you probably know by now that I've got an injury and I am not able to train at the moment. However, we did film this video just a little while before I found out I had an injury and it is a little bit of a different day in the life, but we thought rather than just wasting the video, we would still share it with you. It's quite a fun little video. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Man with the crane. <laughs> So today is a pretty big day, something pretty exciting is happening. We are getting our own ice bath, so that should be arriving very soon. Unfortunately, it's too wide to go through the house, so we're having to get it craned over the house, which is quite exciting slash scary. Uh, we've got a nice <laughs> glass roof up there, um, so we'll be able to see it going over and hopefully staying attached to the crane and getting placed in the garden. But yeah, that's what's happening this morning. We're just waiting for the ice bath to arrive. The man with the crane is already here, ready and waiting. So yeah, exciting day. <laughs> I'm not allowed to see it yet. <laughs> the big reveal. <laughs> Don't take out the lamppost. <laughs> Right, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels ice cold. <laughs> and that's not even. <laughs> that's not even as cold as it's gonna get. Did you get in that? <laughs> well, we're gonna have to get in it. You can't have a nice bath and not get it. Ah, <laughs> <actually> hurts. <laughs> By the way, I haven't got a, I haven't put on a beer belly. I've got a device on that massages your back. I've not got my uh, winter weight. <laughs> winter weight pack. Keg on. <laughs> that is so cold. So Brass Monkey reached out to me a good few months ago and they said that obviously I might benefit from using an ice bath. They really liked the kind of content that we put out and thought that we could have a really good partnership. Um, and since meeting Dan from Brass Monkey, he is just a really nice guy. He wants nothing but to help. I've done a small amount of ice bath stuff scattered around my training before, but never really 
done it enough to know if there was a benefit so I was interested to kind of give it a try and see what my thoughts were and what my experience would be like. Are we okay? <laughs> selected a race in about an hour's time so I'm doing a bit of a warm up for it. It is a 35 kilometre race with a small amount of undulating a little bit of elevation like 400 metres. I definitely prefer a race with more elevation than that but we'll see how it goes. that I like to throw into my training to make things more interesting is with racing. During COVID and the pandemic, we had a lot of Z-Pro racing, which I felt really actually helped to boost my fitness. So I decided to just throw in a little bit of Swift racing recently. When I'm at home, most of my riding is on Swift anyway. So just adding in some Swift racing to get a little bit more out of myself, make it a bit more competitive is always good. It's definitely something that I try and do maybe once a week just to mix things up and get a hard effort in there. If the weather's not good and I can't go out on the road, then it's a much better way to just do a hard effort is um, racing some guys on Zwift and trying to chick a couple of them. <laughs> So the race was pretty good, I definitely put myself in at the deep end, uh, racing all men in the A category, so that means you have to average at least 4 to 5 watts per kilo, but they, the men normally average more than 5 watts per kilo anyway, so I managed to hang in for like the first 5 to 10 minutes, and I was like way over 300 watts clinging on, um, and then they just surged on a climb, and I was like, nah. I, I can't go with that. So then I was in no man's land for a bit and then I managed to catch a couple of riders who dropped off the front group um, and a couple of riders caught us up as well. So I managed to be in a bit of a race again, which was good. Um, pretty happy with my numbers for my first race in a little while. So I finished 11th out of 22, which was obviously right in the middle of the group, which pretty good going. Um, I think there was actually a Canadian pro rider in the front group as well, so some top level riders in the race um, and managed to hang in for a bit, so pretty happy with that. Um, and now the cool down is just really spinning the legs easy for 10 minutes, letting the heart rate come back down, which has already come back down quite a lot, so yeah, and then job done. Just go. Just go? Just get in. have to just start with the legs. The first time's the worst. <laughs> 
Yeah, been in it ages. Easy, no problem. Apart from when you make it ripple, <laughs> then it goes up higher than you want. Oh, the sun's out. It's having a nice bath. It should get as easy as definitely. I don't want to put my arms in there. <laughs> That's a bit fine. <laughs> I think I've done like three minutes. Oh my god. So bad. <laughs> oh my god. We have a squirrel picnic table which should attach to the fence like so. And then squirrels can have picnic. Then we have upgraded the squirrel nut house. And we've got squirrel pick mix. We also have an umbrella here for their table. <laughs> I don't think we're going to use that. <laughs> what? Well, we might, but I don't know if it might scare them. I mean, I'm right the best by it. <laughs> So, anyone who knows me really well will know. Well, I love all animals, but I do really love squirrels. I think I get that from my mum. She loves squirrels as well, but we do love all animals. We have been enticing squirrels into our garden for probably over a year now by having like a squirrel feeder. I decided to upgrade them to a nice new one and also get them a squirrel picnic bench, which I know probably is a bit much, but wanted to treat them. Scared. I might need a more powerful drill. Are you sure about that? Well, I don't know. We can just like... I don't think this is heavy duty. <laughs> this project. is a heavy duty DIY project. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be a bit more hands-on, a bit more DIY. I'm obviously very lucky that Reese is actually like really good at DIY. He did carpentry and is actually really good at anything kind of home maintenance. So I haven't really had to do it before. But I wanted to test myself. I wanted to prove that I could also be handy with a drill. So I was like, I'm not gonna, well, to be fair, the this, this grill kind of stuff had sat on the kitchen work side for about a week and I was like but well, I'm not gonna ask Reese to do it another time I'm gonna give it a go. It's requiring quite a lot of strength to push that. <laughs> oh How did we get that one in with it spinning the way? You're pushing it hard enough. <laughs> right. Swap it. But now it's good. It's not my fault someone left it in reverse. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, if this goes in, okay, I bet it's going to go in proper easy. <laughs> Widow spiders, because there was a massive one behind this 
Wait, where are you? Oh yeah, it's a nice big one. <gasps> what was that? What was that? Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, what was that? Move like that before. Let okay. me just see if it. There we go. That's sturdy. That's it. Excellent. Really sturdy. Now we can fill it with nuts. Woo! Let's get some nuts. Check out these scrolls. Oh, yeah. Gonna take a while. <laughs> Got to entice them in with some, like a one them. <laughs> Why didn't I get it in before? Maybe I just tip. It, so I just yeah. tip. It. What could go wrong? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god, no. Fresh nuts. Ooh, a bit of spillage. They'll eat them off the floor. And bury them in the garden. Perfect, look at that. It's noisy, isn't it? Mummy, what are you doing? Why is it not going in? Definitely the right way, I think. I'm so confused now. But it wants to spin that it wants. To... Try and get it out again, but I don't know if it's going to come out. Oh, it should be stuck. Oh, it's roasting hot. <gasps> God, DIY, don't let me. Right, let's just push that one in. That's definitely fixed on there. Yeah, I'm not very good with a drill. My first experience was questionable. Um, and yeah, to put it kind of cut it short, Reese actually had to come and help because it went a bit wrong. <laughs> Set. Yay. Is that, do you think that's sturdy enough for them? <laughs> screwed it into anything. What do you mean? You screwed it into this gap. <laughs> <laughs> That's just bad luck. No, it isn't. <laughs> terrible luck, not bad luck. <laughs> terrible luck. <laughs> terrible planning, no. Terrible, look, Terribly bad luck. Look, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's gone in the gap gone between the, the gap. panel and the top. So you're basically screwed <laughs> nothing. The poor girls are going to die. <laughs> It'll be their last supper. <laughs> Simple thing. Two I screws. asked you to do it and you wouldn't. It's been sat on there for a week. Two That's what screws. I <laughs> She's ruined our fence. Oh, take this. <laughs> How to hold a drill 101. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, I'm not sure. The squirrel's over the moon, by the way. Just, just, <laughs> just to throw that in there.
at the moment with my strength training, obviously it's something that I just enjoy doing anyway. I do it all year round, kind of from my background as a personal trainer, I enjoy doing all different types of lifting, but also did Olympic lifting as a swimmer. So at the moment, I'm not really focused on anything too specific. I'm just kind of doing a general maintenance phase. already got pump exercise number one. It's a bit too difficult to do like really intense heavy lifting or anything that's too strenuous throughout the year because it just will take away from racing or will take away from other sessions because they'll just ache too much. I wouldn't say easy, but it's like reduced intensity and it's stuff that I do all the time. So my body's really used to it and it means that I can do my key swim, bike, run sessions without them being negatively impacted by the strength stuff. Even potentially when I go away, I can still replicate that in some form. So nothing too out there, just basic lifting. I will sometimes mix it up if I want to do something a bit different, but I only really will do that if I'm confident that I'm not going to get really bad doms and not be able to run the next day. So I finished off my day um, just with a massage with my physio Michael, which is obviously a regular part of my routine. to keep my body in good nick. He's been looking after me for a number of years now and occasionally will travel with me as well. He also has a great little dog who is called Diego, who I absolutely love. Um, and occasionally we get to see Diego as well, which makes the pain of the massage even better. But I actually think that most of the recovery just comes from seeing Diego. <laughs> Hello. Can I say So obviously we've been super busy over the last couple of months. We've kind of come off the back of off season and started training for this season. We've also been in discussions with a couple of new partners um, and those are all being finalized. And we will be telling you who our new partners are very soon, which we're really excited to have joined some new partners and we're always thankful to our existing partners as well. Thanks for watching this video. Um, yeah, this was a bit of the day in the life before I got injured. Obviously, I am struck with an injury right now. Um, if you haven't watched our previous videos, then make sure to do that. Um, and we will be sharing more videos of my injury journey. So stay tuned for those. As always, make sure to like and subscribe.